Hi, Scrappy friends. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our third and final video in this fifth round of Keeping It Simple. So if you've watched the first two videos, you already know that we are working on adding layers to our layout. So adding layers of paper to our layout. So we're kind of taking a look back at the very first series we did where we did a very simple border um, at the top, the bottom, the side. We're using the same concept we did in the first series where we're gonna make a very simple border, but then we're going to spruce up our layout by adding that texture and that dimension to our layout by adding pattern paper. So let's first start by, I'll show you the layout we did in video number three of the first round. Here it is on the screen. And I, I really love this layout, how it came out. <laughs> this is, I think, the prettiest, the prettiest one, and it was so super simple. So I have the two side borders where I just used different widths of pattern paper and then used a border sticker to uh, cover that seam and blend those the, the border paper to the background piece. And then I really love the embellishment cluster on these layouts, I did that half, I did a circle and then cut it in half and used half on each side of the layout, then used some paper embellishments and some stickers to really enhance those embellishment clusters. And then like I did on the other layouts in this series, I backed all the photos in pattern paper. And again, those photo mats do add the texture and dimension as well. But what I wanna do now is to take the same basic concept and create more depth and dimension by adding layers of paper. Okay, so come on back and I'll show you what we're gonna do for today. today. I'm going to use the Tropic Time collection and I'm going to scrapbook some snorkeling photos from when we were in Hawaii back in 1996. So I have half the photos are of the area where we were uh, snorkeling and us in the water. And then I had, we had an underwater camera back then and we were taking pictures of the fish that we saw underwater. So I really wanna get those in on the second page of the layout. Okay, so I'm going to, going to use the Tropic Time collection because of course I just think that's perfect for Hawaii photos. I'll be using the two dark blue striped paper for my background pieces. And then I have a full sheet of yellow and then I have some scraps, all of which I'll be bringing in as either layering pieces or photo mats. Then of course I have the stickers that go along with this collection. And then off to the side, I have the embellishments, the alpha stickers, the gems, and more scraps, the mat pack, all that good stuff. So we'll be bringing all that in as needed. Let's get started. Here's our the blue pieces for our background. And for the border on this layout, I wanna bring in this scrap of orange. It's a beautiful, vibrant piece of orange that looks just wonderful up against the blue. And I want to cut this so that I can have a strip on one side and a strip on the other. So let's put it aside for a moment and let me bring in the photos for this side. So we can kind of see how big of a piece do we want? I'm gonna go two and a half inches for the left-hand side and the remaining piece will go on the opposite side. So let me cut two and a half inches and actually let's go ahead and scoot these like that and then let's bring in our photos for over here. Then for the border strip, I do wanna use a border strip like I did in the first layout and I happen to have these left, which I think are gonna be just perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this adhered down. I think what I'm gonna do on this side, on this layout is I want a little bit of the blue exposed on each side. So when I adhere these, I will leave just about a fourth of an inch to an eighth of an inch exposed and then I'll put the border sticker right on like that. Okay. okay, so there we go. We will work on the embellishment clusters on each side when we get a little bit further along. The next thing I would like to do is to bring in 
some layers. That's that's what we're working on, right? We wanna bring in some layers. For the left-hand side, I wanna bring in this green. It has like little triangles on it. And I want to slide it right under our photos. See, I might even wanna make it a little shorter. And I will. I'm going to basically put it in so that just those top two are on it. And then for over here, I would like to bring in this turquoise paper. It To me, it looks like turquoise with little bubbles. So I thought, how perfect is that for the fish? So let's go ahead and bring this in. See if everything fits. Oh, it's going to fit nicely on this. And then like this and like that. So for this one also, I think maybe just these two fish over here. So I'm going to cut it right about here. Let's see, how many inches would that be? About at a six and a half. Okay, so let me get those trimmed down. Okay, so we have our first layer of paper on each side of our layout. Now what I'm going to do is I wanna bring in the scraps that we had of these. I want to bring them in on the opposite side of the paper. So we had green over here, and I wanna bring the green over on this side. Just gonna tuck it in and maybe even come up. Let's see if we like that. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Doesn't even have to be the full length because it's not going to show. Okay, so that'll be our second layer over there. On the left-hand side, I wanna bring in this bubble paper. That's what I'm calling it. And I kind of want it to tuck like that. I might have to trim off ever so slightly. And then these two photos will lay right on top like that. Okay, so I'm just playing around with my scraps, trying to figure out the best way. So yeah, I'll trim this down a little bit and get those into position. I love how that's looking now. So before my, my photos were just laying on that blue paper, and yes, I could have backed each one, but I like having the different layers overlapping and kind of touching each other and just bringing the whole layout into making it feel more cohesive. So for matting our photos, I'm looking at my layout and I really think, like I don't think I need to mat any of the photos over here, so that's gonna save me some time. These two photos I'm liking on the bubble paper, but I do think I want to mat this photo and I'm not sure about this one yet, but this photo, I'm going to bring in this turquoise and I'll make a mat for that. I think that's going to give my layout a little bit more of a pop. So we'll get that cut out. And I believe this was a five inch photo. So I will do a five and a quarter inch mat. So it's gonna be like this. And yeah, I think that really helped to pop that out. i wondering if I need any turquoise over here. So let's go ahead and see if we like this one on turquoise. Just to make it stand out a little bit, I'll add that. That way I kind of have the turquoise on both sides. Not really needed, I was happy with the, what, what it was, but I think that kind of helped to bring in the, bring it into both sides. So we'll, we'll keep that for now. So let me go ahead and pause right here for a moment and I'm going to step away and get everything adhered down and then I'll be back and we will start working on the embellishment clusters for both borders, Or, but we also have room right here. So we'll have to play with what it is we're going to do. So give me a moment and I'll be right back. So everything is adhered down. I kept the left-hand page like we were talking about before, but the right-hand page I did adjust a little bit. I pushed all my photos up, I felt like that was a better flow between the pages to have them pushed up here. Then I took the green strip back here and I snipped it and extended it up here and down here. And I gave it a little fishtail. And then this photo here, I decided needed a mat because it was kind of getting lost in everything else. So I decided to give it a mat and I gave it a white mat at first, but I still wanted something else to pop. So I decided to 
use this dark green paper. Now let me show you what that was. It was the backside of this turquoise paper that I used up here and up here. So I decided that I, that was perfect. I wanted something a little darker and that really kind of made those fish just pop right out. So I'm very happy I did that. And we're ready to do some embellishing. So first thing I want to do is to figure out where my title and my journaling are gonna go. Okay, so I have room up here, up here and down here and across, actually across the whole bottom here. So I am going to keep my title up here in the, the top and my journaling will go right down over here. For the embellishment clusters, I have all this area up here. So this will be my big area. And then I have a equally or about the same size amount over here. And then for the smallest amount of embellishing, I'm gonna go right here. So I'm not gonna have a visual triangle this time. It's gonna be more of a diagonal flow across the page instead. So let's start with the journaling because that's the easiest one for me. I took a card from the map pack and I just cut it in half. This one had two, two boxes on it. So I just took one and I'm just gonna slide that right under there. Okay, so that's where my journaling will go. And so for the title, I do want to cut circles like I did in that first layout that I'm scrap lifting. <laughs> so let me bring in the yellow paper that I had. And I want to get a couple, get a circle out of here. So I'm going to bring in my smallest custom cutting template. And I'm just going to cut out a circle. So I use the red blade on the outside of the smallest template. And then I'm just gonna cut that right in half. Okay, so I'm going to bring in this yellow. There is some yellow in our border, so that's gonna be really nice. Slide that right under, brings in more of that tropical feel to our layout. And that's what we should be using our border for, to bring in those elements, um, because I haven't really talked about anything about Tropic on this page, except for the paper, of course, but it doesn't shout um, Tropic. So now I wanna bring in some of those theme elements. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna slide that one under the photo a little bit, then I'm okay with that. Right here, I would like to bring in more of the turquoise. So I had this piece, so I only need a half of, a circle this time. And let's tuck that in right there. Now for our embellishing. I have some leaves I punched out from the Monstera leaf border punch. I have a bunch of these along with my embellishments because I took one once and then I cut it up knowing I was going to use it. And I think that they're just perfect for bringing in little bits of the tropical feel where we need it. So I'm just gonna bring them in up here, tuck them under each other. And now for my title, before I get too far here, I like this one here that says, um, life with you is an adventure. I think that's super cute and I think it's gonna go perfect right there. So let me go ahead and put this up onto some foam squares. There we go. So it's gonna go up like that, right in there. So that's gonna help us when we go to place these leaves. We'll tuck the leaves underneath, lay the title right on top of the leaves, okay? I'm also going to bring in the embossed blossoms punch. This came in a secret box and I'm gonna punch a couple of these in using this Tropic Island cardstock. It gives us two flowers, a whole flower and then a partial one. I'm gonna do another, another one. Okay. 
And then let's see, I want to take this and kind of, let's turn that a little, tuck it in here, bring some more turquoise over here to our embellishment area. So I'm going to bring in another leaf over here, tuck it right under there, and take my other flower and lay it right on top. Now in the center of the flower, on both of them, I'm going to add these little gems that came with this collection. There's some orange ones and I just, I love it. That way I'm getting more of my colors up in my embellishment area. So I'll do one on each flower. Okay, what else do we have? I think on this turquoise half circle, I wanna use some of these starfish. I'll probably go like this and then pop this one up with a little foam square and put it right next to that one. So just add a couple little things right over here. Let's look at our clusters a little bit closely. I want to beef them up a little bit. Let's work over here. I think I would like to try and bring in this surfboard because even though we're not surfing and we're just snorkeling, it's still a water sport, so I still want to bring it in. I think I'm gonna trim it off a little bit so that I can tuck it right here and it's kind of pointing off of my embellishment base a little bit and then put these back on like that. Yeah, that's cute. And also I have these white flowers in the embellishments, so I'm going to, let's see if we can just Add a little bit here. Maybe this one I'll pop up onto some foam tape. So in the center one, I wanna add a little something too. And in the collection, they gave us several different palm trees. So let's see if I could lift it up a little bit, tuck the palm tree right in behind. I want, I'm gonna snip this one also. So we don't see the bottom part coming out. There, okay, I'm, I'm liking that one. Now up here, since I put a white flower here, I would like to try and bring in a white flower as well up here. So let's bring this in, this over here, bring our title back down. So everything is kind of tucked right under our title. Yeah, I'm liking my clusters, they're not too overwhelming. So. Let me pause there, get my clusters adhered down, and then I'll come back. I started adding my finishing touches already, but let's see if we could add a couple more. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. There we go. Everything is adhered down the way we had left it when we, when I paused, I didn't make any other changes this time. Let's see, for our finishing touches, I feel like I kind of already started by adding a little bit of jewels, so I kind of want to see what I have here, and I think, let's see if we like pink. There's a little bit of pink in our border, so I thought, let's see if we could add a little bit of pink to those white flowers. I love doing this with flowers, and <laughs> just putting a little bit of a gem in there. So that really looks cute. Now over here, definitely wanna do a pink one. And let's see, do we want to do an orange one just to have one of each cluster? No. Oh, let's go this way. Yep. There we go. And that's all I'm going to do for finishing touches. I love this layout. I feel like I conquered adding those layers. It really helps to bring out the life of my photos. I really love the tropical feel of this layout and I feel like I hardly embellished. So I know that most of that feeling is coming from the paper choices that I used for my border and for all my different layers. I love again the circular element like I did on the previous layout. The circles and the paper choices just add so much. So if you are enjoying this series, please take a moment to click that like button. I really do appreciate it and I thank you for it. So that's it for today's layout. Give me one moment, I'm going to clean this up and then I'll bring back in the other two layouts so we can wrap up this series. Okay, hold on one moment. So here's the layouts that we did in this series. 
Here's the first one I did. And what I really love about all of these layouts, they really did come together quickly and easily. So simple to put together. And I think that I really kicked it up a notch by adding the paper layers. And I hope that you do agree. Even though I kept these layouts very simple and easy, they're still very, very beautiful. And they really help to make my memories just pop out and stand out. So I'm so excited to be adding these to my albums. So this was the first the first day when we did the simple ban banner punch on the top with layered with another piece of paper and then we added a piece of snowflake <laughs> paper but you cannot tell it's snowflakes at all and then a piece of dark blue paper behind that and over here we have that beige it looks like stitching on a softball so that I thought that was perfect then we carried the same paper over here to the left hand side and backed one of our photos here and also carried in some of the dark blue star paper as well. And both papers are also up in our border. So I really feel like I was able to, to blend all the pieces together, the layers, the border, and the matting of our photos. Okay, for the second layout, we went to San Francisco. <laughs> this time we put the border at the bottom. We kept our clusters down here, put a small third cluster up at the top. We brought in a rectangle piece of polka dot paper here. We brought in this white camera paper, which I just love. And then the, the blue gray plaid over here. And then we brought in a piece of the purple little scrap that we had and put it right over there. And that's the second layout. Again, I love it. All of our photos are kind of in a grid style at the top of the page and we have all this space down here so that your eye can kind of just rest down there. Okay, so that's the second layout. And then of course, we've already seen today's final layout, which was our Hawaiian, our Tropic Time snorkeling <laughs> in Hawaii with our 18 month old, super fun. I will journal about all that right in my journaling spot. And again, my paper layers, I went down here and then across. So I have the green here and I'm across here with what I was calling the bubble paper and the turquoise mat. Carried all three of those over into the second page and I have the bubble paper here, the green paper, here and a turquoise mat right there and kept the embellishments very simple on this one as I did on the first two. So that does conclude this fifth round of our keeping it simple. I really have enjoyed doing this series. I hope you guys are getting a lot out of it as well. And now I have six pages done. Go time to go put those in my album. And if you're looking for some more inspiration, I will link the entire Keeping It Simple playlist right there, as well as a second video for your enjoyment right there. And until next time, everybody, take care, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.